LTI and everyone who did all the work for this festival. Um, so the, f the first, this is a coincidence, a beautiful coincidence that the epigraph for this poem, um, there's two epigraphs for this poem, and one of them is by Kim Hae-soon. So this is Valley Uncanny. It's a very long, long poem. I'm going to read just a few sections of it and try to not go too long. So the first epigraph is from NASA's website, the astrophysics page, focus areas, black holes. Don't let the name fool you. A black hole is anything but empty space. And from uh, Kim Hae-soon's poem, A Hole, where's the holes end? A valley makes a kind of hole, a hole open on two sides. Korea, an island on three sides. South Korea, an island, water, water, DMZ. North Korea, water, water, DMZ, the People's Republic of China. I was a whole and I brought it myself to Miguk, beautiful country, America, the United States. I carried a train of holes, holes of smoke, holes of sky, holes of water, holes of rice milk. I was an uncanny guest two years old, a week after arrival from Korea, a brother, born in America, asked, when is she going back? Like the heavenly maiden with too many children to carry, too many holes to go back there. There is a limit to canniness, but not to being uncanny. It is infinite, Muhan. So there's a graph um, of the uncanny valley, which a Japanese roboticist came up with. And the idea is that the closer um, something that's not human gets to being human, the more disturbing it is to humans. Um, oh, there they are. So the left is in English and the right one is in Korean. And in case you can't see it, the, the English, so it's a map of the uncanny valley. And at the top is a healthy person. And then on the, the two axes, one is familiarity and the other one is human likeness. And so it starts at the, at the corner with industrial robot and it's, some are moving and some are still. So in the moving line, industrial robot, humanoid, humanoid robot, and then um, zombie and then goes back up to Bunraku puppet, and then up to healthy person. And the still line starts um, at industrial robot, then goes to stuffed animal, which is still cute because it's not too much like a human. Then goes down to corpse, it goes up to prosthetic hand, and then goes up back up to per healthy person. Okay, I'm skipping ahead to the last, really, page of the poem. Thank you for your patience. My dreams are the ivory gates, the bone gates, the accordion, a mouth, a mind, that same floret splitting away from its hard, dark face. Some bulbs are good for eating, some are good for sleeping, repairing, emitting time like a bomb, radium. Sometimes there are horns or hooves waiting to be fitted to my head and hands, feet, a tail swishing away the space dust of any remaining light. In my dreams, I passed before the axis of human likeness, a black line that had to be contained on all sides, a pipeline, a kind of dark traffic. Men in uniform were posted all along its length. Some had cameras, some had guns to slip down its invisible curtains like sheets tied together and hung out of a hotel window. Underneath the Ur world, without measure or mark, here I communed with each at its station, corpse, zombie, bunraku puppet, prosthetic limb, not holes but force, 
electricity, instinct, momentum, the vigor of our lives, so many words for a progression like chords, sine waves, lines. Contract, heaven, paradise, human likeness, moment, lapse, error, mistake, incident, accident, event, episode, emergency, crisis, disaster, catastrophe, dystopia, apocalypse, time, expand. There is a code for every kind of duration. One must be careful to carry the right holes on one's journey. Fourth back, X, Y, toward the familiar. The bottom of the valley is the palm of time. There, one finds rests. All objects fall at the same rate. Comes up with that.